Good afternoon, I'm JD with Paradise Chevrolet Commercial Fleet Department. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Android Auto feature on our new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. This feature is good on all new uh, Chevrolet vehicles with uh, at least the 7 inch touchscreen radio. Um, they all come with Android Auto. Every single commercial vehicle that you get from us that is a Silverado, uh, either a pickup all the way up to our medium duty trucks, will have this functionality. You'll be able to use this Android Auto feature. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, uh, we're gonna take our USB cable here. Uh, best to use the factory cable, but if you have a high quality uh, aftermarket cable that's high speed, you can use it also. This one is high speed. You can see it is the USB 3.0 uh, cable here. So we're gonna open our center, center console here and we're gonna plug it in uh, to the USB port here. Never goes in the right way the first time. There it is, we've got a nice little cable hider here that it goes through. So here on the screen, um, you've got a couple of different icons. Um, right here where this projection icon is, is where the Android Auto um, or Apple CarPlay, if you have an iPhone, uh, same, same functionality uh, that way is gonna show up. So then I'm gonna take my phone. This is a Samsung S10. Uh, again, this will work with um, any uh, cell phone that has uh, Android Nougat or, or later uh, installed on it. Nougat was released in 2016 uh, as an operating system. So anything with that, um, or greater is going to be able to use this functionality. So here I am, and I'll unlock my phone, and you're going to need to download this app. It's called Android Auto. It has this little um, pyramid-looking screen here. So you'll have that there. Once you plug it in, it's going to automatically ask you some questions. So here we go. We've got Android Auto. What will it do? Um, we're going to allow it the permissions and continue. So we're going to turn our location settings on. So it's now on. You've got some stuff here. We want to enable the consent. We're going to hit continue. And here we go. My last call was to Lewis. He's the one filming this video. Thank Lewis for, for his work on this. So we'll go here. First we'll go. So you've got one of the best things is having your maps available all the time. So um, what I use is Waze. This is hooked up to my Waze already, uh, which is installed uh, on my phone. Anybody that uses Waze knows that you can report accidents, you can get information about road safety hazards, and you can see um, every now and then where the police are um, on your radar when you're going around. Um, the functionality works just like a regular touchscreen radio. You can zoom in and out. You can see where all the traffic is. Um, go around and zoom that way um, is how the navigation works. If you want to change, you want to do something else besides the Waze, you're just going to hit the navigation icon again, and it'll bring up all the different navigation apps that you have installed. I have Waze installed and I have Google Maps installed uh, both, so you can use each of them um, depending on what you like to use better. Some people like Waze, some like Google Maps. They're both made by Google, so really uh, you can't go wrong with either one. Um, over here, you have your phone icon, so we can call people if we need. It's got um, some recent contacts, people that I've called uh, here in the past. Um, you can also go to your phone settings. You can get to call history. You can get your dial a number here. Um, which is nice. Uh, this truck, most work trucks are not going to have uh, the push button feature to call people. So this dial number feature works just as well um, to dial the number. You can start it out and then it'll have uh, whatever number you're looking for for uh, the person you're calling. Uh, next we'll go to the headphones, which is um, for me, I've got the Amazon Music hooked up. Um, you can change that again by just hitting the headphone icon again. You can have podcasts. Google Play Music is on here as well. If you've got um, iTunes or Apple Music, you can have that. If you have Spotify, if you have Pandora, all of those apps will work with this. So if you have them installed on your phone, you can use all of them um, to play music out of, which is a nice feature. Uh, last one is the return to my Chevrolet. So again, you can just hit that. It'll bring you right back to this um, screen. You can use the regular, regular audio if you want um, to go back and forth. Uh, but you can always hit the home button here that'll be look just like a house and hit that Android Auto button and get right back into it at any time. So when it's plugged in, it is charging your phone um, at all times. I've got weather, I've got my time uh, to get home. If I want to go home, I can just hit that because I've already got it saved um, in, my, uh, in my location settings and uh, we can be on our way. I've got Temecula weather. It's a nice 81 degree day here uh, in Temecula. Nice breeze, uh, working out nicely today. Uh, aside from that, uh, this is how the Android Auto functions. Um, it, it'll lock your phone out basically because it doesn't want you to use your phone while you're driving. Um, so you can unlock it, but it is a little more difficult to get into your phone while it's plugged in. 
So anything that you can do on your phone, you can pretty much do it here besides send a text message. So you shouldn't text and drive, um, as we all know, but uh, if you absolutely have to do something, you can still unlock the phone. It's just a little harder uh, to get back into. So we'll go back here, we use the back button to get back to the home. Um, you can get back there pretty quickly. You can still use your phone settings um, here. When you do plug it in, um, the nice thing about uh, the, the newer trucks is once your phone's plugged in here, you don't even have to pair it to the vehicle anymore. It's gonna automatically pair your phone uh, to the vehicle interaction even without the Android Auto uh, plugged in. So uh, that, that is one of the nice features there. Um, again, you can always use the call button to call people as well, bring the same icon up. So we'll get back out of here, um, back to our navigation system here. Uh, you can see you've got your 4G connectivity. That's for your cell phone that's connected. Um, and you do have the microphone here. So you can say, okay, Google, and you can tell Google uh, where you want to go, what you want to do, and uh, it will take you there. So I want to get out of this. We're going to exit that. Uh, again, that's just switching back and forth. We'll go back um, to the main screen here. So uh, once again, uh, this is the main screen. Uh, if you're here, again, you can use that uh, microphone icon to use voice commands if you need to, uh, but it, it does take a lot of the, the effort having to go through your different apps and stuff away um, and putting them right here on the screen. So and it, it's also the same across all vehicles. So uh, if you have a vehicle, you say you have a Chevrolet or you have some other brand um, that has Android Auto, it is seamless to use um, across all the platforms, um, which is great, especially if you have a large fleet. Not everything is, is always the same. So that is one of the nice things about it. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. That is how you use the Android Auto System on uh, one of the new 2019 Chevrolet Silverados. Um, again, this is good for all Silverados across the line with the 7-inch touchscreen um, or larger. My name is JD. If you like the video, give it a like. Have a great day.